Hello, this is Eric Wamsley, Systems Engineer with Nutanix. Today I'm going to show you how to download the Nutanix Vert I.O. drivers for Windows and how to upload the ISO to Prism Central 5.5 so that you can use it when installing Windows operating systems into a base virtual machine that you can use as a template. The first thing you need to do is go to the Nutanix portal. The URL is portal.nutanix.com. If you don't have an account, you'll have to create one. If you do already have one, you'll have to log in. Once you log in, you'll be on the home screen, similar to what you see here. You can go to the download section, which is located conveniently down here in the middle lower section. You want to go to the tools and firmware area. Alternately, up on the top left, you can click the menu button, go to downloads, and also go to tools and firmware. Once on this page, you'll have to scroll down until you find the Nutanix Avert I.O. drivers for Windows, and we are looking for the ISO file. So that's this one right here. The other option is on the top, this is actually a filter button. If you click filter, you can type Vert, V-I-R-T. It'll notice that it shows only the Vert I.O. drivers that we need. There are a couple different ones, but we do, again, just want the ISO image. If you click the file name, it'll start the download. It is about 50 megabytes in size. Once that download is complete, we need to log into Prism Central. Once you are in, logged into Prism Central, you want to go to the Explore page. On the left side, under Entities, select Images. Click the Add Image button. We're going to upload an image file, so hit the Add File button. And in your new window, down, select the Vert IO ISO that we just downloaded and hit Open. It'll gather information about the file, verify that the image type is an ISO. You can change the image name to whatever you want the display name to be, and also optionally you can put a description. Select the Save button, and then it'll upload the ISO image from your desktop to Prism Central. And a new feature in 5.5, if you're running both AOS 5.5 and Prism Central 5.5, is it will deploy that ISO image to all of your clusters connected to that Prism Central, again, as long as both are running version 5.5. Up at the top, you'll notice that the tasks have been updated and it actually already looks like our image has been uploaded, but we'll double check by viewing all tasks. We can see that the image has been uploaded and created both to Prism Central and to the cluster. So if we go back to the Explore page, select Images, we can see now that our Vert IO ISO is there. And also optionally, you can log into your cluster and go to the image configuration, and you should see it there as well. If you have any problems with this, please do not hesitate to contact support. Thank you.